Hello again, this is Kevin Ring. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, within Pixera the LED wall workflow and why Pixera is just so really, really cool when working with LED displays. So I'm in Pixera 1.8.302. Uh, first thing I'm going to do in my screen's workspace is enable the grid or the floor. Uh, remember the hotkey is G, G as in grid. Uh, I have a different video that does the overall Pixera tutorial. So if you'd like to watch that, please go check it out. So as we remember here on the screens tab, we have LED panels. Uh, I'm going to go down to InfoLED. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to take a look at some of the panels here. We're going to see why this is so cool. So one of my favorites is the InfoLED uh, AR 3.9. Let me go ahead and move myself out of the way. That's the wrong button. Here. So just by clicking on the tile, I can see that it's a half meter by one full meter, uh, resolution 128, 256, 32,768 pixels, 3.91 pixel pitch, uh, the viewing angle, as well as the power average. So this is a really great tool just for even planning out my LED show. So I'm going to drop one cabinet into my visualizer. And if I select the cabinet, I can now set the array. The array is the size of my LED wall. So let me go ahead and move me back. Very good. And I'm going to set my wall to be a 12 by 4. Cool. Remember, shift will bound you to an axis or a vertice. So I can look at my LED wall now and see that the resolution is 1536 by 1024. So even if I'm not going to use Pixar for the show, which I should, uh, this is fantastic just for figuring out what the wall is going to end up looking like. Now, here's another reason I love the LED workflow in Pixera. Uh, let's go to the InfoLED DB 2.6 tile, another one of my favorites. Here it is. We see it's a half meter, half meter, 192, 192 pixel pitch, it's a 2.6. Uh, I will go ahead and make a 12 by 6, make it a little bit bigger. Cool. So we know that LED can curve. However, we know that it typically curves at the joints. Uh, unless it's using like an X-Wave product, uh, it doesn't actually curve the tile itself. So what I can do now is I can set a five degree rotation. And if we look very carefully at the cabinets, we can see that the curvature is actually occurring between the cabinets themselves. So that is much more accurate to reality giving me a very, very accurate workflow, accurate mesh, and um, really accurate details of what my wall will look like. Because Pixera is awesome as well, if I go to the project tab, I can actually export these as, um, uh, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for, <laughs> as an OBJ. So if I click on the object itself, I can now export the model as an OBJ, I'll save that to my desktop, call this LED wall in capital. And let's see what that looks like. Desktop, and here it is. Cool. And so here is my LED wall, very nifty. So I can now actually create an OBJ in Pixera and I can give this to my content creator so they can do the UV unwrap for it. So that's really nifty. So what if your LED display does not exist in Pixera? Not a problem. There is another section down at the bottom here called generic. And with generic LED, I can now come to the right hand side and customize it for what I need it to be. So um, let's see, I can actually do that over here as well. So let's say it's going to be a local transformation. Here it is size. So I can do 0.5 by 1. And then once you have your tile built, you can drop it into the custom folder so you can use it later. Hey, so even if your tile's not here, as long as you know the, the size and dimensions, you are able to create that within Pixera for visualization and use purposes. So the other thing that goes hand in hand with the LED workflow in Pixera is what we call output remapping or output slicing, call it what you will. 
Uh, in layman's terms, when we're dealing with a high-end media server, high-res media server like a Pixera, oftentimes we have multiple LED walls that are small resolutions, and we might have a few HD or 4K uh, outputs on our GPU. So rather than having just one LED screen per output, we can have multiple screens on one output connector and then do the XY offset in the LED processor. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here I have four LED walls. Uh, let me add some content just so we can say that we did. You'll see why in a second. We'll do uh, you here, you here, you and jump ahead, beautiful. So as always, this is done in the um, mapping section under live. So here's my local computer, here's my GPU, and I'm gonna use my UHD display. So this can be done a few different ways. Uh, the way I'm gonna do it though is I'm going to select on this display itself on the LED wall. So in the upper right-hand corner, I'm gonna change my selection mode from projectors to screens. Now I could select each LED wall and now here, let me move myself out of the way. I'll be over here today. So now on each LED wall, uh, here it's gonna show me the output currently assigned. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign all of them, all four to the same physical output, output one. So there's one. And here is two. So they're all going to the same output. Here's output. So LED wall three, and here is LED wall four. So I can now make this full screen here so we can see it. And now as you see, I have all of my LED screens on my page. Let's see where, oops, didn't want to rotate that one. Here it is. So now I can set the XY offset for each one, make sure that they're in the correct orientation for me. And now I can make sure that my LED walls are exactly where they need to be. Very cool. So you can also see here in the upper uh, left-hand corner, it's showing me the XY offset. So I can either place it where I need it to be, or I can um, place it where uh, the LED engineer or high res engineer is dictating that I need to place it. Uh, and then because of course it's Pixera, it'll play on all the displays, which is really, really cool. So once again, that's just a really, really quick, dirty overdive into the LED workflow of Pixera. Um, I hope you have fun with it. Super cool.